Hi, I'm Jeff with Noble Cycling. Uh, today we're going to show you how to set up a tubeless, uh, do a tubeless setup actually on a, a mountain bike. So this is a this is a tubeless ready rim, which makes it so that it's going to be super easy to set that up. And the way that you determine that is actually the center channel is quite a bit uh, lower, making it so that it's easier to install the tire. And then once the tire is actually having air pressure applied to it it's going to move the bead to the outside of the rim so that uh, it's a tight, airtight seal once it actually the bead of the tire comes in contact with the bead of the rim. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do all that. Uh, this is just the rim, spokes, hub, it's all set up. Uh, and First we need to actually clean the rim. We need to clean the rim surface to make sure that there's no residue of anything on top of it so that the tape, the Gorilla tape that we use actually it, it will uh, adhere to the rim a lot better if we do that. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some gloves just because we're gonna be working with, uh, you can use acetone or you can use alcohol. If you use acetone, just make sure that it does not get on anything else because it actually will, it eats away at paint and whatnot. Uh, but we'll use alcohol for this purpose. So you can actually just spray it. So we're just spraying it, get a nice little layer on there. Okay, and then we're gonna go and we're just going to wipe it completely down with a clean rag, okay? This section right here is clean. So we will go ahead and go all the way around. Picking off all of that residue, if there's any residue left over from you know, previous tubeless sealant or uh, you know, if you ran a tube in this, sometimes there's a little bit of latex that might get on that. All those things will inhibit, uh, actually contaminate uh, the bonding surface, and so we just need to make sure we get that all clean. Okay. Make sure that you don't see any spots that you miss because acetone is so powerful that uh, if we try and adhere it, the tape to the rim, if it's uh, has a little bit of acetone on it, it actually will make it so that it won't stick properly. So we'll go ahead and check that out. It looks good. So now we're going to go ahead and size size the tape. So a Gorilla tape comes in a little bit thicker roll like this. Uh, you want to make it so that uh, it goes to the bottom of the channel on both sides. Okay. So sometimes you custom you know, have to do a little bit of custom work. So just so that you get it set up just perfect. All right, and right now, it's good to actually start uh, inch and a half to two inches in front of the valve stem, and then you end inch and a half to two inches after the valve stem when starting. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Perfect, so yeah, that fits in there great. All right, so yeah, it's just fitting perfectly in that channel. Looks like we got all the residue off because that is going in really, really nice. Get the tape as close as you can to uh, the walls of the rim. Okay. And that's just because sometimes the rim actually will make it so that, and just uh, tire levers, whatnot, it's going to make it so that uh, sometimes the edge, edges of the tape will pry up over time. With Gorilla Tape, you really don't have an issue as much as other types of tape, but just over time, you're going to experience, uh, yeah, just kind of raising up on the sides uh, as tubeless sealant gets on it. So right now, I'm just pushing down the sides, making sure that the sides of the tape are secure with the rim, that we're creating an airtight seal. Okay, so just do that on both sides. There we 
ID. Okay, cool. Now, for the next step, uh, find out what your valve is supposed to go through. Go ahead and poke that. I'm just using a dental tool. Uh, this is a park dental tool. You can use anything to poke this, needle, whatnot. Don't make it too big, just really small hole. Uh, and the reason being is that uh, you want that to be as small as, uh, as needs be, just so that when you install this valve, it's going to be airtight. A lot of times when people set up tubeless, uh, a lot of the air actually escapes from the valve. If their tape's damaged, uh, that's typically when it, when it will happen or if they're using the wrong valve. So these stands valves are pretty universal. They're actually, you know, kind of tapered so that uh, it sits really snug in there. So we'll go ahead and pop that in. Okay. And then from the bottom, uh, you need to make sure that you have this lock ring nut on pretty tight uh, just to make sure that no air is going to escape from there. Okay. So I'm actually pushing down on the valve. At the same time, I'm twisting it. Okay. All right, so that's good enough. Now we can go ahead and install our tire on partially. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set this up. So since it's a recessed channel in the center, you want to get the bead to actually go to the center. Most of the time, these should be uh, easily installed by hand. Okay. All right. <coughs> Okay, so now we're going to show you, uh, so this is actually a really nice little tool made by stands. Uh, it can remove a Schrader valve with that side or a Presta valve, valve core with this side. So we'll go ahead and, it uh, doesn't matter if this is open or closed, it's not going to affect it at all. Uh, but you go ahead and slide that over. Hold the valve with one finger as you loosen, just so that the, as you take out the core, just so that it doesn't turn at all. Okay, and then you're going to put on your air chuck that just uh, gives a channel of air. It doesn't need to be compressed or anything. It'll just a little button. You can spray out some air. This is a uh... so yeah, that set up super easy. And uh, yeah, just you're going to put your finger over the valve until you can actually put this in. So... And then you're just going to slide that in, tighten it down. All right. And then make sure that your bead is set all the way around. It looks like it, we can add a little bit more air right here. You can see that the bead uh, is set on this side, but once we get over here, it's not fully set. And then it comes back up over here. Uh, there's a couple reasons why it might do that. It might do that if uh, your tape job is not very good or it also can do that if uh, the tire is just not properly set on the rim. So in this case, since we made sure that we had even amounts of rim tape, uh, right now it's just pretty much tire pressure that we're looking at. Make sure you don't put too much because being this, for this being a tubeless tire, you can actually make it so that uh, it can blow off the rim if you go too high. But uh, usually if you put it up to about 60 PSI, and then take it back down after the bead set, you should be okay. Okay. Okay, so it's getting pretty firm. You can see it actually starting to rise right there. And sometimes you can help it out a little. Okay, you just grab that, pull it out. Okay, so now you can see it's, it's set all the way around. Let's check the other side. And we are good to go. So that is how you set up a uh, tubeless. Uh, if it's a tubeless ready tire, you're going to probably have imperfections in the tire. The reason being is that it's not tubeless specific. Because uh, tubeless specific tires actually can be run without any uh, sealant in them. It's always good to have sealant in there, but tubeless, uh, tubeless tires, tubeless specific tires, actually are quite a bit heavier. So tubeless ready is nice just because it uh, gives you a robust bead but uh, not as much rubber around the rest of the tire. So sometimes there's imperfections here or there. You can have a little bit of, you know, sealant coming out. You can see a little bit of it on this tire. Okay. So it's always good that after you set up your tire tubeless, go ride it, go put a couple miles on it. Uh, if you do, 
uh, then it'll actually make it so the sealant will set up. Uh, you'll fill in all the little imperfections and holes. Uh, but yeah, this is all set up, ready to go, and now we're we're set to go hit the trails.